So now we look at a something which is very well known. It's called the Trojan horse attack. And um, just by way of um, background, uh, it, it goes back to the Greek um, history mythology, uh, the siege of the city of Troy. Um, the idea was that uh, essentially the, the, the Greeks were besieging the city. They couldn't get inside um, for many, many years. So they played a trick on the city. They presented a wooden horse to the Greeks, uh, which actually contained soldiers inside. And so the Trojans, assuming that this was a surrender, a gift of surrender, they pulled in the horse and at night soldiers uh, basically popped out of, of, of this um, um, statue and opened the, uh, opened the doors. So, so that's why it's called Trojan Horse because that's exactly what we are doing with programs. So when you borrow somebody's program, you are sort of accepting a gift from someone and that gift could inflict some damage on, um, on what you are doing. So you are using, because now you pull it inside your city, inside your gates, and this program has the same privileges as you because it's part of your environment and so it can do whatever you could do to your files, it can send email on your behalf, it can do all these nasty things that uh, we need to prevent. That's why people say don't open email attachments from people you don't know because it could be a Trojan horse that will do some damage. Okay, uh, the next attack is called a trapdoor and what happens here is that this is, a, this is an undocumented feature um, of some kind of a system. So a programmer essentially works on some system and implements a feature inside this program which is not documented so nobody knows about it except the person himself or herself and that means that even after the programmer uh, leaves or perhaps is um, let go from the company would have certain privileges, certain access to this program. So for, for example, uh, you could build a trap door which would let you in, bypass all the security later on without checking. So if you give it a special password, abracadabra, it will um, let the person in and, um, and allow him or her to do damage after the fact. Now, it could be done on purpose, so actually somebody builds it in, or it could be some kind of a flaw that uh, the programmer knows about and that can be exploited. And there will be an example later on when we talk about worms, um, how um, that happened in the past. <laughs>